Hi there everyone, Ollie here and welcome back to the channel one much needed haircut later. So even if you know extraordinarily little about medicine, like me, um, you'll probably be aware that there are broadly speaking two kinds of doctors that exist. There are internal medicine doctors, um, those are doctors that are concerned with the inner workings of the body and will usually prescribe drugs and similar treatments in order to solve problems. Drugs are their therapies of choice. And then on the other hand, we have surgeons whose preferred treatment is to cut things out. An interesting thing occurs in the UK, however, where surgeons are actually referred to as Mr, Mrs or Miss, unlike other types of doctors. And this is actually something that's, um, that's caused a bit of confusion clearly on my channel. And this happened in a case where I uploaded two lectures uh, that were recorded at the Neurosciences Society careers event where we had a neurosurgeon and a stroke physician speaking. So in the case of Dr. Dalol's video, I put the title of that video as um, kind of stroke physician talk, Dr. Banda Dalol, and then the neurosurgeon, I put Miss Anne Elzerius, who is a neurosurgeon. And I've had a couple of people get in touch with me since then saying like, don't you think this is very disrespectful um, to call to call the man Dr. Dalol and then the woman Miss Elzerius? Don't you think that's very disrespectful just because she's a woman? And it's really understandable how this confusion comes about, but I assure you I was not being disrespectful those are the proper titles for those professionals and in this video we're going to talk about why. This is very much a UK custom, um, although it's true in other countries that have kind of copied or co-opted the UK medical education system. And it's due to a bit of historical weirdness. So if we go all the way back to kind of the Middle Ages, doctors of that time, when they were trained, they had to attend a university or a medical school and they would receive their doctorate, their sort of medical qualification, that would entitle them to use the title doctor and to work as medical practitioners. Basically, they had to go to a university, what we would now call a medical school, to receive a formal accredited qualification. And I guess to a point, this is still more or less the same. Anyone who wants to train as a doctor now still has to go to a medical school, and that's the only way to qualify as a doctor in virtually all countries that I can think of. Surgeons, however, historically, historically were very plain and simply not doctors. They were more similar to what would have been a tradesperson who was simply trained to use those sharp knives and surgical tools. They didn't attend universities at the time, they learned very much as how a tradesman would learn and in those cases and even now through what was basically an apprenticeship you learn from a more senior colleague who kind of takes you on and trains you up until you're ready to do it by yourself. And surgeons were actually very much looked down upon, and um, particularly by doctors at that time, it was seen as kind of dirty and primitive and very uncouth. Many of you I'm sure will have heard of the Company of Barber Surgeons, which is one of the old trade guilds of London. And there are still a few remnants of the associations between barbering and surgeoning um, left around today. I'm sure you'll have seen the classic kind of red and white striped poles outside old barber shops and that's that's been a kind of thing where the the white are meant to represent the bandages and the red the blood that would come from surgery and I did do a bit of reading around this and what seems to be just a little bit closer to the truth is that the white stripe represents the profession of, of being a barber and the red represents being a surgeon the red very much being associated with the bloodletting that they would have done at the time. But the crucial thing is that when surgeons were training and learning their anatomy and essentially butchering, um, they never got doctorates, they were never medically qualified. It was simply a trade role. And of course this would mean that they always retained Mr or Mrs as their title. Now eventually, when it was decided that surgeons probably needed some sort of oversight and couldn't simply work as these isolated tradespeople, um, the company of barber surgeons was officially broken down and this, this split the whole guild up and led to the formation of what we now know as the Royal College of Surgeons. But even up until relatively recently, surgeons still only earned a diploma. They had to take an exam and be certified, but they never received a primary medical qualification or a doctorate, meaning they were still 
Mr, Mrs or Miss. Now obviously in modern times things are very different. If you want to be a doctor, let's just use the UK as an example, you'll have to spend at least five years at medical school, followed by two years of foundation training before you can even think about starting to train as a surgeon. But when you finish medical school, you're awarded an MBBS or some equivalent thereof, which is the primary medical qualification that entitles you to the title doctor and to work and practice as a doctor in the UK. With those letters MB, Bachelor of Medicine, BS, Bachelor of Surgery. And I think it's just worth pointing out there that even though medicine is, I think for historical reasons, a bachelor's degree, it still confers the title doctor despite being not what we would call a doctorate. So despite all this, I can hear you saying surgeons, even though they are exactly as qualified as any other type of medical doctor, why do we still call them Mr, Mrs or Miss? And I guess it's just one of those things about the Brits being particular sticklers for tradition. And we've really seen a bit of a reversal where before I was saying that to call someone Mr in the context of them being a surgeon would have been done kind of derisively by doctors of the time. Whereas now for patients, doctors and medical students, calling a surgeon Mr or Miss or Mrs is a sign of respect for the training that they've had. It's considered to be their professional title after having trained as a surgeon. So it seems very bizarre, but if you want to become a surgeon, you will go to medical school, spend a long time there, and then you will qualify and gain the title doctor. But then as soon as you become a member of one of the surgical colleges, you will lose the title doctor and instead you will become Mr or Miss again. So it's odd, I know it's really weird and it doesn't seem to make sense to people who aren't familiar with the system, but that's the way it works in the UK and other countries that have similar medical systems to ours. So I hope you've enjoyed that look at medical history guys, thank you very much for watching, please be sure to hit that like button for me, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, don't forget to go and check out postgradmedic.com for more free videos just like this and a load of other useful articles on my life at medical school and helping you make your way through the interviews and the entrance exams. Be sure to go and follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. I'm at Postgrad Medic. On all of those platforms you can kind of get a deeper insight into my daily adventures. If you've got any questions or videos you'd like to see, let me know in the comments down below. Take care and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.